open up on seven. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh, yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner 117, Shiv, Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom, the iron holding no balance. Nah. Greetings, new fish. I'm... Captain Quark. I... I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet & Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I'd like to hear your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that bolt crank. Does that ship look mag-lifted to you? Get on that bolt crank, come on! Look at this thing. Avionics fried, CPU fried, even the gosh darn gravity coils fried! Oh, you really did a number this time. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up, do you see something flashing? Yep, left side looks good. It's a miracle. Onto the afterburner lights. Look down. You see something? More left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more to the right. Lower right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. Ratchet began his adventure, hoping to become a galactic ranger. Rise and shine, Kizzle Plateau. It's 8 a.m. and it's gonna be a hot one today. Our first story is a sad one, folks. Last night at approximately 8.13 our time, Planet Tenemule fell to what appears to be a Class 7 supernova. President Phyronix has issued a statement calling this a tragic natural disaster. But top know it -alls are skeptical. This is the fourth planet we've lost in the last three months.
disaster struck. For Ratchet did not have the key component required to help them traverse the ionized surface. Magna Boots. Ratchet smashed his enemies using his trusty Omni Wrench. In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time-honored tradition of jumping. Ratchet knew he faced mortal peril. Should he find himself on the verge of death, he'd need to find nanotech to heal. <laughs> I used that stuff after a bank robbery once. It healed, like, three out of five gunshot wounds. Displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe he was just saving up bones so he could buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story here? With his enemies vanquished, Ratchet forged ahead. His destination? Just. amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. in my mind's brain it helps me remember that when I see a proton blast coming my way, I should duck, or perhaps sidestep. In order to spice things up, we've armed these dummies with Gadgetron flamethrowers. Our lawyers are totally cool. Good job, recruit. 
Roberts, you may just be the next Galactic Ranger. Head to the final challenge. Come on, Ratchet. You can do this. Time for the final challenge. Survive a brutal onslaught of enemies, and you just might be our next Galactic Ranger. Or... One down. Whoa. Looks like some angry toads. Another one down. Impressive. Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Excellent job, Cadet. Come see me after the show. Huh. That wasn't so bad. Helpless Defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he could just run to the vent, he might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the Defect. You never disappoint. People Defect knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young Defect spotted a spring bot ahead of him and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. The hopeless Defect had to throw a spring bot, but where and how? You're running, you useless piece of scrap! Get back here and let's settle this! Warbot to Warbot! Oh no! Water! Suddenly, the defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? We won't get away from this, Chairman. I've got a great word in one.
so hard. You think you can run from me? Not that route again. Back here, you miserable defect! Try out running this! I'm gonna rip you apart, sprocket by sprocket! A million thoughts raced through Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto-engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. Thank <laughs> you.